<laughs> numbers are rolling now. Yeah, numbers are rolling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, the BMW 5 Series uh, 2024, the all-new BMW 5 Series, sort of facelift, it's a brand new car. Today we are in the i5 M60. Uh, quick power outputs. This car is five kilowatts shy of the non-competition pack M5, but it makes a bit more torque because it comes in 795 newton of torque. And it makes 442 kilowatts of power. So essentially, when the M5, now by now at top end, because 0 to 100 3.8 seconds, uh, top speed 230 kilowatts. Now, electric cars, most of them, yeah, will do that. So, looks, I know it's very futuristic. Everything is closed off. As you can see, big wheels. We like this color we're rolling in. 200 meters onto N17. Okay. No problem, we will do that, young lady. So the interior is typical BMW 5 Series, there's nothing left to chance. Lovely seats, these seats for the driver and front passenger are ventilated with air conditioning. And um, the interior is futuristic, there's a lot of things to like on the interior here, but we'll talk about the drive first. Listen, the way this car handles and the way it pulls is nothing short of phenomenal. With this is a happy and pen, uh, well there's a tire squeal there only because I'm carrying too much. And when you do that, you're back on the N7. I'm going to do something for you now. There's a button here. It's the only lever you find in this car. Most electric cars don't come with gears. This car in front of us needs to be out of the way because for 10 seconds, we will get overboost even though we might be in a drive mode that doesn't really need overboost. So we will do this prime example here as soon as it clears the way for us because this car's got a lot of safety features like lane keeping assist and quite a number of things. So here we go for 10 seconds we've got there we go we can't name that speed because we don't want to be yeah so there's that and then there's several drive modes which you can access through this button here uh, you've got personal you've got sports which is most people will like which makes everything sharper but We've learned that with sport, as fast as it can be, what happens is um, it gets very skittish. It handles, but you get the feeling that it gets skittish. So we'll go back to efficient, and everything can be done here. But there's things like this vent control that are over here that you can directional change, and then you can close and open the vents. Rear aircon, it's here, but I wonder if you guys are going to complain as much. So that's directional flow here for air. The cluster's there. We're used to the cluster now. The steering is lovely, nice and thick. But the sitting position, as always with BMW, is perfect. The cabin, the space, I know. It's it's really just one of those cars that have aced it. And um, looks. I like I like how it looks. I genuinely do. I don't have any problems with how it looks. Um, I would have loved the carbon spec. This one's got carbon filters here, which is quite nice. The rear seating positions and the rear space is quite nice. I'll sit in the back and I'll take pictures there. But I don't think we should even be testing that. It's a 5 series. So, I mean, of average size and height, we should be perfectly fine. Um, out of 10, looks, performance, the works. This is going to be probably the first car in a while. First impressions that it's blown me away in its totality. Because I know if 5 Series BMW doesn't know how to make a bad 5 Series. This car scores as healthy 9.5, if not a 10. The only thing I didn't like here is the sound system. I don't think it's quite there for me, but uh, a guy in this car won't be buying this car to put a sound system and worry about a sound system because, especially even this electric one. The one thing I do miss though, because this is an M model, even though it's an I model, the i40, is it i4, M50 has a Hans Zimmer system. That makes it, this one, that sound only comes on when you start it up. But I wish when you put it in sports mode, you'd get that sound here and um, it, it makes a world of a difference. So, yeah, it goes towards a 9.5, the BMW i5 M60i, 442 kilowatts of power, 795 kilowatts of power, so 95 newton meters of torque. I solid, it's pretty solid, Chevy, it's solid, seriously. It's as far as it gets. Oh yes, the other thing that's lovely about this car, can you see the sunroof, the sun flag, that the sunroof doesn't open. I know black people are going to be unhappy that the sunroof doesn't open. However, it's got a roll-up line that it doesn't fold forward, it goes backwards. 
So this morning I'm trying to open it. I'm like, I have a wooden sensor, the way, the way. And then, yeah, but then it does that when you open it. But in other drive settings here, yeah, like in the expressive uh, drive mode, the entire aura changes and then it just opens that up for you automatically. So we're very, very impressed. We love how it looks, the right quality. Oh, you know, this is my type of car. Maybe I'm biased like that, but it genuinely is a type of car that I would not think twice about buying because I less screams me as is. I think I will get you pricing. Tomorrow we drive a diesel and uh, we'll give you pricing and numbers for that one where we are more. But for now, you take car. Boom! Hey, 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 hey. I this over boost function. Take me to a bunch of blend down. Anyway, guys, like, subscribe, and um, we'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah, we're not covered a lot.